very warm welcome everyone, I hope you are doing well. My name is Nick, we're in homebrew territory on the ZX Spectrum, looking at a game called Flappy Clive, published by Perillo Productions in 2020, and it is part of a competition called the Mojon Concurso MK11, I think, or 1, it says up there, in 2020. Now, it's based very loosely on the game, the popular, um phone game or app game called Flappy Birds which was developed by Dot Gears in 2013 for Android and iOS but this time you don't control Flappy Bird you control Sir Clive Sinclair on his uh, birthday the uh, inventor I suppose of the ZX Spectrum. Happy birthday Clive! Away we go! So if you don't know how Flappy Bird works basically you have to flap through these bits here it's a bit of inertia and when you're not flapping Sir Clive will go down so if you flap by hitting fire button, oh this is a bit tricky, and we've got a birthday cake. Now there's sort of like power-ups here, you can see we're coming up to a C5, not to mention that game uh, C5 Clive and the two others, and we've got immunity for a bit as he drives along. So yes, very much like Flappy Birds. So we'll see how far we get on this one, but the game goes on forever until you die. Now a bit of Flappy Bird, I've had to concentrate here, a bit of Flappy Bird trivia for you. Uh, the, the app was extremely popular on the um, uh, Android and iOS. The author removed it um, for being too addictive at some point, I don't know why, but um, at the height of its um, fame, it was purportedly earning $50,000 uh, a day in income revenue. I wouldn't have removed it. Well, anyway, perhaps he was rich enough anyway, but it, the author was worried about the addictiveness of the game. Now, is this as uh, addictive? I'm not sure. I don't think I'm playing it too much, but Sir Clive certainly looks uh, a lot younger than I'm used to doing. He's getting a bit of a sweat on as he waggles his eyebrows. But let's just go as far as we can. And to be honest with you, um, I think I could be playing it for quite some time. For Reload Productions in 2020, it's not Flappy Bird, it's Flappy Clive. Uh, they didn't get sued for some reason. I think Flappy Bird, although it's removed from the, uh, the App Store, I think it come back named something else, didn't it? Flappy Bird Family, perhaps. I've seen it in action, but I haven't uh, actually played those games. I'm pretty much getting what it is uh, from this, to be honest with you. Uh, this is moving a little bit slow. Flappy Bird goes up and down um, green tubes. So Clive's going past various bits of computers, I think. Now, there are trophies to unlock, which I'll show you afterwards. I'm making this look, look a lot easier than it does, but um, hit any of the scenery and then you are dead. You only get one life and it's game over, so it's just how far can you get Flappy Clive in his sparkly suit, or his black suit, through this thing. Oh, oh, he's bumped his head and it's game over. So, you have unlocked a trophy, there we go, I told you. I've been moved, there we go, so that's one trophy done. C5 is perfectly safe, we've done that. Now, if you're looking at other Sir Clive games, there's a Day in the Life of Sir Clive, which we've reviewed, and three C5 games, so check those out. Microman, more than 100 metres in one run. We collected a birthday cake. It doesn't remember these um, as soon as you reload the game, but it's nice to have that. You, we, well, we flap near a duck. Well done. It's a good day when you flap near a duck. We took a spectrum. So I'll have, I'll have one last uh, go on this, maybe, or maybe I'll have a few goes. I'm not sure how it did in the competition, the Monjo, Monjon Concurso MK1 in 2020, but uh, hopefully it won. It's a nice concept, uh, well, heavily influenced by Flappy Bird. It's even called Flappy at the start of it, but I don't mind. I think it's pretty good, as homebrews go, I think it's well worth a go. If you're looking to download this yourself, I downloaded it from a site called Spectrum Computing. That's it. Have a look at it. You can download it from there. Uh, there's no advertising in this one, it's not making 50k a day. It makes me think, what can I do on my channel uh, to make 50k a day, I don't know. It just goes to show you, don't overcomplicate it, it's the easy, simple ideas that make the spondulas. Yes. Right. Take it easy on yourself. I don't know what those blue bits do, the dark blue. I think uh, they're just there to try and um, create obstacles. Come on Clive, fire button, fire button, fire button. Well, I say fire button, I'm hitting the space bar here. We're spacing along. Hover, not much room to work with, but I think we're going to get there. So, the only way you can go wrong in this is if you lose your concentration. I think the um, the area we need to get through is going to stay roughly the same. Try and get yourself in position as easy as possible to get through. Uh, Flappy Clive. I think if, it, if Flappy Clive got um, introduced on iOS or Android, I think he'd get taken down immediately for being too similar to Flappy Bird. Oh, bashed his head. He's gone to bed. Do we like, unlock anything else? 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Clive. Happy birthday to you. There's the aliens and other folk. We didn't unlock anything there, right? This is definitely my last go. You can see uh, it is pretty addictive then. One last go and then that's it. One last go. Now apologies if you've uh, downloaded this afterwards and you've got no work done for the next two weeks. But that is the level of addictiveness it is as we collect whatever that is. Is it like a cufflink or a tyre? Go Clive, go! This is probably the most accomplished uh, Clive game out of all the Clive games that I've um, looked at. We're not going to do a Sir Clive playlist, that is for sure. But here he is. In uh, the game uh, Day in the Life of Sir Clive, you only control his head, I think. He never gets in a C5. Go, Clive, go. And in C5, Clive, you never see it. You only see the C5 itself. The C5 it looks like it's got no one in it. Here we go. He looks happy enough. Obviously, this is before he sold he sold his empire to Amstrad. But the game is 2020. 2020. What a terrible year 2020 is. But it's given us so many good homebrew games on the ZX Spectrum. It's been a brilliant year in terms of programs and games. Uh, in terms of life and viruses and stuff, it's been, well, horrendous. Right, so keep an eye on my score on the top left. Let's see if I can beat that. Um, you'll see on the on, along the top there, it's counting how many objects I uh, collect also. So let's have a look at that each time it goes up. So I want to collect as much stuff as I can and get a super amazing score. There's not much to the game, but as you can see, uh, you, you just want to get a higher score as you possibly can. It never scrolls quicker than this, I don't think. If you know better, let me know, because you might already be addicted to this game and playing it forever. Another Spectrum collected. Another Spectrum collected. Right, that just works out as points. If you get the... There's a C5 there. Maybe I can drive through some scenery just to see if the immunity works. The, the border's going to flash. Special effect. There it is. Right, here we go. We're driving in our C5. Our C5. I didn't own a C5. There's a few of them about. A nice thing to own, but you couldn't go on the road. Maximum speed, I think, 15 miles an hour, unless you're a super peddler. Yeah, you see, it did, doesn't last very long, that power-up, to be fair. Hopefully we can try and get that again. Keep an eye on the time, Nick. We don't want this review to go on forever. Because forever is more than time than I've got to, um, well, give to this project. Then, well, I suppose there could be a sequel to this, couldn't there? Maybe. I'll have to look to see what other games Ferrillo Productions have done. I'm not quite sure what they've done, really. But uh, if this is the quality of stuff they come up with, then, um, yeah, I um, want to check it out. It needs to be slightly quicker, I think. But um, it is the Spectrum 48K. Nick wants too much again. Through we go. Flat, flat, flat. I think I've got used to getting through there. Uh, just keep a steady... Um, Steady repeat on the space bar, and you should be going through space, 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 space. Although my finger is starting to ache now. It, the game doesn't pause, just goes on forever and a day. Right, there's a C5 again, so we're going to have a bit of immunity. Maybe I can try and drive through a wall then. See if the immunity actually works, or whether I've read it right, or whether it's something else. Right, here we go. Turbo. Through the wall. Oh yeah, a bit of colour clash there, but uh, yeah, you do not die. So it is immunity, which is, helps every now and again if your finger is getting a little bit tired. Doc Gears 2013 did Flappy Bird. I can't remember the author of that did this game, but uh, yeah, hopefully they made a fair penny. Yeah, 50 grand a day on advertising. That's They've hit the, hit the big time when you've done that, haven't you? Right, a lot of spectrums to collect here. I don't remember a spectrum that had yellow buttons, but anyway... They, the Spectrum can't do grey. Come on, Clive, and get through there. How long have I been playing this game? This is by far the longest go, I think, out of the three goes I've had. Up to eight. You see, see there, we've got eight next to Hark. A zero, zero, eight. So presumably that gets a 9,999. How long ago, how long ago would that game be? I don't know. This would have been a big hit back in the day, I think, this game. If it had come out on the... Uh, if it had come free with the Horizons tape, the Spectrum come with uh, after Through the Wall, I would, it would have blown me away. Nice bit of cake. I wonder if Sir Clive actually knows he's in this game. I'm not sure he does, to be fair. He probably doesn't know about most of the games he's in. Right, come on, Clive. He's a hero. Wearing some cool glasses. 
points are going good. I don't think I can play it too much, Will, because although I'm enjoying it, I'm um, I'm predicting it's not much of a spectacle because uh, the g the game isn't varying uh, too much. It's just some guy going slow uh, over well, not green pipes like Flappy Bird, but yellow sort of like stacks of computers, and that's pretty much it, really. Through the blue, don't know what that does. It accepts a little bit of color clash. Blue, blue. Right, let's just try and get it up to maybe 500. But 500 is a long way away, isn't it, really? That's too far. Can't collect the ducks, but you uh, might unlock a trophy for getting close. So it's the trophies in this that will keep you going after the end of each go. You'd want to unlock more and more trophies, get higher and higher points. So that's that's how they that's how they get you. Hmm. Right. Yeah. It needs to get a bit narrower every now and again, or at least make me do a little bit more more work than what it's uh, trying to do. This is on the ZX Spectrum 48K, if you're wondering. Right. Oops, I've hit... Oh, well, well, there we go. So, excellent. I like this game. Really, really addictive. You unlocked it a trophy. Big, big Mac. Mo much more fun to play than to watch, I'd imagine. But I, I give this a big, big, big thumbs up. I love it. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Flappy Clive, a homebrew published by Ferrillo Productions in 2020 and heavily influenced by Flappy Birds from Dot Gears on iOS and Android back in 2013. Got any comments about this game, similar games to Clive, or anything retro, then please put that below. I love reading your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.